Good morning, Card Mini. It's RJ back with another video. So let's get to it. Today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day. A collection of items, so to speak. I'm always searching the bay. Always searching the bay for unique items of Mike Schmidt or uh, good deals on some stuff. Found a lot. <coughs> a lot of relic cards uh, in a bit of a rainbow arrangement. So from 2009 tops tribute this is just called the relic insert it has no other uh, identification name for it but like the uh, 2009 tops tribute relic of mike schmidt this is the base card yet even the base card is numbered to 99 of the relics all right so that is the base kind of just a silver rainbow look to it the next one that came in a lot the blue parallel this one was serial numbered to 75. Also got the black parallel. Numbered to 50. And lastly, the gold parallel. Numbered to 25. Uh, as with all modern uh, relic cards, typically of important people, this relic... The relic contained in this card is not from any specific game, event, or season. They have run out of legendary players and their bats and jerseys because they have copied, purchased them, cut them all up, and already sent them into cards. So they no longer have examples of those players' game-worn or game-used equipment because the freaking card companies have bought them all up and you cut them up and put them into cards. Now they're just taking random bats and jerseys and saying it's for this person. So a little bit of a proselytizing there. I apologize. Anyway, today's random baseball item of the day. I hope everybody gets a chance to do this during the during their time and their collecting enjoys their collecting in this manner. Just going through random cards. Just to kick out old cards you haven't seen in years and take a look at them. In so doing, I came across <clears throat> the 1988. Donruss card of Fernando Valenzuela and I thought this was a really cool image because it shows Fernando bunting but take a look at the serious and intense look on his face I'm not sure if he already bunted it because in a way it looks like he's about to start running to first I mean he squared up there but in a way it looks like he already hit the bunt at the same time it looks like the pitch is still coming in and he's really intently staring at it getting himself in good position and desperately, desperately wants to lay it down. I just thought that was a fantastic image uh, as I was looking through my old cards one day. Thought I'd share that with you. Today's trivia question, in keeping with the theme, this month in baseball history, or this day, I should say, in baseball history, this day in baseball history, June the 28th, 2007, on that day, <coughs> two milestones were achieved by two different players. So, <coughs> on June the 28th, 2007, one future Hall of Famer hit home run number 500. On the same day, June the 28th, 2007, another future Hall of Famer hit, acquired hit career hit number 3,000. Name both of those players. What you playing for? In keeping with my giveaways for the for foreseeable future, I'm trying to get rid of all of the uh, 2008 Topps Gallery Hall of Fame Edition cards that I have, the extra ones. And I've been doing all week, this was a former manager and former Negro League star. So, Bucky Harris is in the Hall of Fame as a manager. There is his managerial correct record. And, of course, a legendary... Uh, Negro League player, Buck Leonard, one of the earlier inductees to the Baseball Hall of Fame, one of the earlier Negro League inductees. So, that's what you're playing for. Uh, so, send me uh, the correct answer. Uh, I will include my email in the description below, along with a repeat of that question. You'll have today and tomorrow to answer. We'll pick a winner on Sunday, all right? Good luck to everybody on that. So, today, uh, today's episode is sponsored by Shaw Racing Collects. Uh, Shaw and the boy, Jeff and the boys up north. Uh, I joined one of their um, 
mystery pack breaks a little while ago. I was able to get the Phillies. I think, um, who was it? I guess Mike over at Ripping for Rookies. Mike and I are both huge Phillies fans. It's what we collect. You know, what we do with our money is get Philly stuff. And um, so I was like, I reached out to Jeff, said I wanted to get the Phillies. And I guess, I think he actually contacted Mike because Mike had already purchased the Phillies and Mike was gracious enough. So shout out to Mike over at Ripping for Rookies. Mike was gracious enough to um, <clears throat> allow me to take the Phillies from him. So I uh, got the Phillies in the random break. And to, just the other day, I got a package back in the mail uh, with all my winnings. So I'm going to go through everything I got, show it off for you real quick. So uh, I'm going to hold some of the good stuff for the end, but... It, it's always a random break, pretty much of what we all would call junk wax cards, but they're always still so fun to look at. They're just, I mean, I don't care when the card came out. Cards are awesome to look at of any player, any year, any value. So never say to anybody, that's a worthless card. The name worthless card does not exist in my vocabulary. Just say it. So here we go. Let's go through the wins I got. 1984 Donruss Tug McGraw, very cool looking set. 1984, both 1984 Fleer and Donruss are two of the better looking sets in my mind ever created. I love the Donruss 84 style. It's a Fleer Ultra. I think this is 91. Uh, I think this is, yep, 91 Fleer Ultra. This is a checklist card, but you have Von Hayes of the Phillies in the background there. Here's your 87 Fleer, Luis Aguayo. 88 Donruss, Kevin Gross. 90 Fleer, Don Carmen. Allen and Ginter, 2023, Nick Castellanos. Here's an awesome, uh, this is Lenny Dykstra. This is the um, 91 Donruss um, All-Stars. It's a separate set. Oh, no, I guess it is. It is 434, so this is part of Series 2 Donruss. But it's the all-star card of Letty from 91 Donruss. 1990 Tops, Darren Dalton. Shout out to Shane over at Shoebox Legend, who is a huge 1990 Tops fan. 88 Donruss, Mike Jackson. Always love that there was a guy on the Phillies named Michael Jackson. 88 Tops, Steve Jeltz, the heir apparent to Mike Schmidt. That never was. Oh, actually, that's the OPG card. I missed that. It's this is this is the 1988 OPG. Shout out to the Jeff and the boys up north for sending in an OPG card with everything. What if Dutch's card? No, Dalton's card was not an OPG. It was the tops. Okay. Uh, 1992, I believe. Leaf Mitch Williams, or is it 91? Nope, 91. Leaf Mitch Williams. Cool image of him there with a bit great follow through, falling off to one side of the mound. 87, Glenn Wilson. 90, Fleer, Jeff Parrott. 91, Upper Deck, Dickie Thon. 1986, Tops, Gary Reedus. Very nicely centered card there. 92, Ultra, Kurt Schilling. Love that one. Here's an awesome looking card. Juan Samuel on the 88 score. Really cool in action. Almost looks like Dale Murphy. He's hurdling there. I can't be certain, but uh, pretty cool. Here's an awesome Stadium Club membership card. I do hold on to these things. I actually put this stuff up on the tradingcarddatabase.com, and believe it or not, every once in a while, I get a hit from somebody who wants these things. Roger McDowell on the 91 uh, score, and Roger McDowell again on the, the uh, 91 tops. Here is a top Stadium Club, Terry Mulholland. I want to say this is uh, 94 or 95. Let's see, uh, bu 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 94 Stadium Club, Terry Mulholland. <laughs> Love this card. Alex Madrid, 89 Donruss. I think the guy like played briefly, eight total big games. I'm not sure if he played ever again after that year, but he did make an appearance on the Phillies. He is a member of the Phillies alumni, so to speak, because he did play, what was it, five games for the Phillies? Yeah, Alex Madrid. <laughs> Joe Blanton. Great upper deck card's got to be like in 2009, 10, something like that. 2009, Joe Blanton. 
awesome card. Here's the OPG Premier, I think this is 92, Mickey Morandini. This is the first year that OPG, actually 91, 1991 OPG, is when they finally decided to do their own brand. Finally, they went off on their own. Good for them. Uh, what is this one? Fleer Ultra. Oh, this is like a Prospects card. 91 Fleer Ultra, Darren Fletcher, who eventually had a pretty good and lengthy career with the Expos. Uh, Mike Lieberthal, 92. This is the minor league set. This is not the, um, uh, this is not the regular Upper Deck. This is a, a, sp a spin-off set. Upper Deck did release in 1992. A, um, rookie minor league set offering uh, the look on the back is completely different. Mike Lieberthal with the Scranton Wilkes Bear Red Barons. Pat Coombs, 1990 Tops rated rookie. Uh, upper deck, that is Mike Grace, I believe. Yep, Mike Grace. I don't know what year this one is. 98 Upper Deck. This is a uh, Tops Heritage insert, the New Age Performers insert set. Yeah, and this is from 2020. JT Real Muto. And here's a cool one. Raphael Marchand is actually getting a lot of work right now with uh, JT on the on the injured reserve list because he had a he had a torn meniscus repaired and uh, he's out for a month. So uh, Garrett Stubbs and Raphael Marchand are uh, sharing the catching duties for a while. Here's a cool rookie card. It's a bit off center, but it's from the uh, Tops Living. I can't remember what. It's from like the Tops Chrome. Uh, platinum version, I believe, what this insert is. And it's a really cool card of that young catcher. He's been, uh, you know, when, you, when, you're, when you're on a team like the Phillies and your position is catcher or first base or <laughs> or third base or, or pretty much any uh, anywhere on the Phillies, I mean, the Phillies pretty much have, gosh, except for the outfield, the, pretty, the, the Phillies are pretty much solid everywhere else. And Nick, Nick Cassianos kind of owns uh, left field. But uh, if you're trying to break in with the Phillies, good luck on that. So but it's a nice little rookie card. So those are the generic cards. And he had a, I was able to get a couple extra things thrown in. Um, one is uh, 74. I'm going to guess this is Tops or OPG. Is it OPG? No, it is Tops. Dick Ruven. And it's well off center. I'll have to take this with me and give it to uh, Jeff, uh, not Jeff, John Mangini, if I see him uh, at the National sometime. He loves his miscut cards, but Dick Ruthven of the Phillies. There you go. I guess technically this is a rookie card because it only has one year's stats. 74 tops, Dick Ruthven, badly cut. And this is a nice little surprise. Chris James, uh, 19... Uh, 98, 1988 tops, uh, on card auto, probably a, a, a TTM, but still pretty cool. Um, so that's the main stuff. Now this, I, I will say this, I was not able to watch the uh, break live because I was in a meeting that night, so I couldn't get in front of a computer screen to watch. Uh, but I had a work meeting. I got a very nice surprise out of, uh, the guys. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm going to take a look. It is something called Swing Into Summer Safety. Um, it is, it says from 2017, right in there. And it's a little box of cards, it looks like. It's probably a box set. And I know it's a box set I did not have. So shout out to Jeff and the boys. I'm sorry I'm going to open it because I don't like not seeing my cards. I want to see what it is. And I'm going to go to my checklist at the, the, the tradingcarddatabase.com. <clears throat> it's like a, I don't know if that's a mine league. I don't think it's a mine league set. It says Blue Jays. It could be a mine league set, but I don't know. Let's find out. It doesn't say necessarily Toronto or anything on the back. Maybe it's sacrilegious to some of you guys to um, disturb a sealed product, but I am not interested in sealed products. How else can you enjoy your cards if you do not open them and look at them? I can't even get this thing open. Ugh. I'm going to pause the video so I can get it open. Give me one second. 
All right, I'm back and I was able to open it up and I also did a quick research on what this thing is. So in 2017, the Blue Jays issued this as a box set. It is called the 2017 Toronto Blue Jays Fire Safety Set. So I'm gonna go to the back right here. It is um, presented by Boston Pizza. And it's all kinds of little things about, you know, keeping aware of fire hazards in your home. And the back, every card of the back, every card of the set has this on the back. At least these do, these um, special cards. Because when you go through the regular cards, they have information about the individual person or player or manager here. So I'm going to just kind of flip through the cards. Uh, some of these guys I actually know, even the uh, coaches. Some of these people I've actually heard of before. Uh, then you got your players. A lot of uh, the Blue Jays, if you think about 2017, J.A. Happ used to be a Philly. How about how much the stats don't go back too far, just major league totals. And it actually has a uh, strike out fire fast in your home, install fire sprinklers for added protection. Every, everyone's different. Every, every little saying is different about fire protection. That's funny. I think this is pre Vladdy Jr. and uh, the guys. I don't think this is uh, with Vladdy Jr. or Bichette or Biggio. Yeah, Josh Donaldson was still there, Troy Tulowitzki. Yeah, this is just before they got going. But I am, you know, I'll be, I'll be, Jose Bautista was still there. Yeah, Kevin Pillar. So that's the set. I will say this. Uh, I really, really appreciate it, guys, because... Uh, speaking to Shaw Racing Collects, you guys know me very well. And to be quite honest with you, out of all the cards I got, this box set is by far my favorite thing I got today. I am just such a fan of little box sets like this, I can't tell you. So for you guys to throw this in as a freebie, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I do owe you a care package, Jeff, because I do have a couple of hockey cards I promised to send your way and had just been lax in doing so. So I'll make sure I get them out this weekend. So, all right. So thank you all uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little thing. Uh, one more time, a huge shout out to Shaw Racing Collects for their generosity on some of these additional throw-ins. Um, I don't do a lot of breaks anymore. It's just not, it's not something I'm into any longer, but every once in a while I will just have some fun and do something like that. So that's why I did it here. Uh, and it turned out to be a very good investment on my part because uh, just, just, just getting that little box set was worth the investment in the card. So appreciate everybody watching. If you like that video, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, and all that jazz. I really do appreciate your support as I try my best sport of bales in this great card beauty. All right. Come back again on Sunday for the trivia recap. Otherwise, have a great week and I'll see you later.